a lot of the reasons I came here was because of the, the program director, uh, Heidi. Um, I don't know, I just have heard a lot of really good things about her and I really wanted to, you know, work with her. And then in terms of Bolivia, um, I really wasn't even sure where Bolivia was on a map, to be honest. But uh, after living here for a while, I, I can't believe that used to be the case. I mean, I love this place. And it's been cool to learn so much about a country that so many people, especially in the U.S., know so little about. Uh, even just from being down here for such a short time, I can already tell that I'm going to go back to the U.S. with a very, very different perspective on American pol I mean, U.S. politics, on U.S. international relations, on U.S. values in terms of economy and society, like in terms of um, what it means to, you know, be a successful and good country to live in. I mean, you know, after being here in Bolivia and learning so much about Bolivia's relations with other South American countries and, you know, just kind of how things work down here, like, that's not the case. And I'm glad that I, I know that and I've experienced that now. You know, this, this program at SIT, we don't necessarily have, like, an insane amount of essays and presentations and, and readings and little assignments every day, like, but I've, I feel like I've learned more, I've only, I'm only like about halfway through my time here, but I feel like I've learned more this semester just like in terms of quantity than I have in like the past two or three semesters back at home in my college. I mean, I don't know, like the SIT's like hands-on approach to learning about a country, um, you know, going out and like doing things with people and like learning things about stuff from their perspective like in their company is very different from sitting in a classroom back at my university every day uh, so I don't know I, mean, I feel like I'm going to be more open to how I'm going to go about learning about new things when I get back to the US professionally I mean one of my goals in life is to be become fluent in Spanish uh, just because I'm planning on using that to kind of augment my psychology career and maybe work with Spanish-speaking people in the United States one day in the field of psychology. Uh, and being here, living with a host family, especially this upcoming period, the ISP period where we're going to be not having class every day, just working on our own projects here in Bolivia. Um, I mean, my Spanish has... I speak Spanish better now than I did before leaving, and I've been studying Spanish for like seven years. I think that traveling like in the like during your process of like the most important one of the most important educational periods of your life is like the most important time to spend learning things in a very different way than we have ever. There's been so many amazing experiences like every single day honestly. Uh, not, not necessarily like a one-time occurrence but just living with a totally new host family like walking into their house the first few days being here and feeling my, like my Spanish wasn't very good, you know, still feeling very confused about how to navigate the city, about, you know, how people here, you know, live their lives and everything. Um, and just like the, like I literally by the second or third day living with my host family, I felt like they were my family. Like I called, I called my host mom, mom, I was hanging out with my host brothers. They love telling me all about their country they live in and their city. So, and now, two like two months later, I I feel like I'm gonna be in contact with this family and these people for the rest of my life. I hope, like they really do feel like family. So that's been one of the cooler experiences.